simple um, pattern folding cube question. And the best way to look at it is to just go through the answer choices and start eliminating them as quick as you can. So I'm going to start with answer choice A, and I'm just going to work my way out down. So in A, we see that we have 1, 4, and 5, and I'm going to take a look at 4 and 5. And I can see that 4 is to the left of 5, which is exactly what I have in A. And when I fold it, I know that the 1 going to be behind it, and the 2 is what I'm going to have in front. So what I should really be having here, and I'm going to use black, is two like this not this one because they're already in the order i need so just like that i can eliminate answer choice a now i'm going to take a look at b in b i have three six and one and i'm taking a look at this i have three here and then i know that six is going to rotate with this side touching this side it's going to rotate like this so i know that three and six are going to be touching each other, and then they're in the correct order, three to the left of six, and so I know that one will be above them. I'm not gonna really take a look at the orientation, I'm just gonna keep moving. So far, B looks like a good potential answer, but I'm not really gonna take a look too closely because I'm gonna just keep going through the answer choices as quick as possible. All right, for answer choice C, I have three, five, and one. When I look at my figure given to me, I can see that 5 and 3 are on opposite sides than what I have in C, meaning that 5 here is to the left, and here 5 is to the right, which means that this entire figure can be flipped around oops, 180 degrees to get the figure I need. So you can do that in your head, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. So here is the figure flipped, and here is what we have. I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to say, okay, 5 is 5, and then I'm going to say 3, oops, I meant to do that a different color, sorry, 3 and 3. Okay, so now it's the correct direction because I flipped it 180 degrees, and seeing this in this order, when I fold it, I know that 2 should be on top, not 1. 1 is going to be on that back side. So because 5 is on the bottom, 2 should be at the top. So once again, up here we should have the 2 dice, not the 1 dice. So we can eliminate as a choice C. Now we're going to look at D. D has 5, 2, and 4. I'm going to take a look at 5 because we've been looking at 5 on almost all the answer choices. Here's 5, and here's 4. But once again, it's flipped. 5 is on the right-hand side, but here it's on the left-hand side. So we're going to look at the figure one more time. And here it is. And then we're going to look at the flip figure. You can always, like I said, do it in your head, but here we go. Okay, so here's 5. Here is 4. And what should be... When 5 is on the top and 4 is to the right, what's going to be underneath it? This 1. The 1 should be underneath it, not the 2. The 2 is going to be behind on that back side that we can't see. So, therefore, that is the incorrect answer. And without even looking at rotations or seeing how stuff align, we know that the correct answer is B. I'm going to go ahead and circle it. I hope that helped, and please let me know if I can help you guys with any future problems.